This video is produced by Godly Christian Ministries. If you'd like to find more resources like it, or some more Christian resources just in general, you can go to www.godlychristianministries.com. This is the second video in a four-part video series on the Word Bible software. And we will be looking today at, on this video, how to download and install modules. That would be like uh, Bibles, commentaries, or dictionaries, or different things like that. The first video, we covered how to download and install the program. And in the uh, following videos, we'll be talking about how to use the program and some general tips and tricks. All right. So... Let's get started here with looking at modules. I'm back at the website here. This is uh, theword.gr. And let's go zoom up here so you can see it a little bit better. And if you type in uh, theword.gr. And then when you get here, we're going to be going to a place to find some modules. Now, initially, uh, if you're looking for new modules that are coming out, you can regularly come to the site here and get some modules and different things like that. And uh, just as a quick note here, I encourage you to give a donation to the guy who put this together because he's done an amazing job. And so he'll even give you a, a free little USB drive with the program on it when you do a donation. But since we're talking about modules, let's go to the downloads page and go to the library. I'm going to zoom in here just so you can see this real good. What we're looking at, and this is where we're going to be going to the module library. All right, click done it. Now, when you come here to the module library here on the Word uh, uh, website, you're going to find that there's uh, we have a couple different options here with things. Uh, we have uh, Bibles. We have dictionaries, we have commentaries, we have books, devotionals, graphics, and more. Uh, so let's just take a peek at a couple of these things. Uh, the Bibles, you'll find a lot of Bibles in different languages, and you'll also find a lot in English. Um, the ones that are marked green and have a little lock pad are things that you're going to have to purchase because of copyright issues. But there's also a lot of program or Bibles on here that are free. And some of them are really nice. Uh, one of them that I really like is the English Standard Version. And another one here is uh, the Apostolic Bible uh, Polyglot. It's the English text of an interlinear. And, so it, and it works really well with the Bible, or the Word. <laughs> uh, and he also has a, a Greek-English interlinear as well. Uh, this is more like an English, uh, if you hover your mouse over the English words, it pops up with the Greek uh, uh, Strong's number definitions and stuff. But it also works with uh, uh, the King James Strong, which is already installed on your computer. All right. Uh, so, um, but yeah, there's a number of Bibles here, and we can download any one of these and install them on. Uh, there's also dictionaries. There's a, mostly English dictionaries. But there's also commentaries, books, and different things like that. Uh, a lot of handy resources. So, um, there's also another spot here which I want to point out, help you to see here. This is uh, the unofficial third party uh, modules. And there are quite a few of those. And so we're going to go to here. And right here, you're going to find a listing of several modules here, or several different sites. I'm just going to go to a couple of them here. This is the first day one here. And you just click on Get All the Word Modules, TW. And what you're going to see here is a massive listing of uh, modules that they have available. I think that's all in like Source Forge or something like that. I can't remember exactly where, but uh, you'll have to go go through the thing and to find them and download them. But that's that's that. Uh, there's also uh, David Cox has quite a few modules as well on his uh, his site here, and uh, just 
I'm going to click on new news and the new modules and I'm just kind of kind of scroll down here you can see that a lot of these are books some of them are commentaries some of them are Bible stuff on these modules It's just a massive uh, amount of resources that you can plug into this program and do just amazing things so alright uh, let's just uh, there's several of these sites here the first two have quite a few I think some of these other ones have quite a few too but nevertheless those are quick quick rundown on a couple of them and now let's go back to uh, downloads and module library and let's just download uh, a small small dictionary and install it into our program here okay now you do the same thing for any of these modules that you get this one's just very small so I'm gonna do this so it's quick and easy you just click on it there and when you click on it it'll pop up with a thing to ask you where to save it or if you're using uh, 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 Chrome or something like that it'll just download it and put it in the little taskbar down at the bottom uh, thing or uh, um, yeah so just save it wherever you want and once you save it go to it and open it up since I have Chrome here I clicked on it a while ago and it's open right down here so I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna to agree to the security things for uh, Windows 7 and then it's gonna ask you to you know close down different applications if if you have a whole bunch of stuff running and click next uh, since I'm installing this module on uh, on this computer just like I showed you in, in the installation uh, when I installed it, I installed it in uh, program in, uh, in uh, the program files x86, or if you're using XP, you, it'd probably be program files or something like that. But that's where I installed it, and because I installed it there, um, this is this is going to put it in the default location where the modules will go. Now, if you did the compact mode installation, you're going to have to click on browse and go find where you have your installation of the word you're going to go to the, the the main folder that 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 the word installation is in if it's inside your uh, USB flash drive you're going to go to the spot where uh, all the word stuff is at and just click on that folder and it'll appear like this it'll say whatever uh, and they'll have a slash in the word and once you do that then uh, you've got it in the right place you just click install uh, since I have it installed on my computer, I'm going to have that checked and do run. And it will automatically run the program. If you did it on a flash drive, it probably you're probably going to have to go and find the program wherever it's installed now and, and run it then. Okay, uh, once it op opens and stuff, you'll see that it, it added a new module and it's letting you know. Uh, it's asking if you want to make it visible to view, and yes, that's I want to do that and it's been added to uh, uh, the, the thing so I clicked OK now is what you're going to see right down here is there it is uh, it's my added in module and now I can click on Abba and I can read uh, Arabic Hebrew for father for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry Abba father this is the King James Dictionary. All right, but we'll discuss this in much more detail about how to use these modules and how to set up the software in a way that we like it in the following video. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next one.